everyone welcome to easy math today in this video we'll see class 8 maths term 1 for the academic year 2021-22 that is chapter 1 which deals with rational numbers okay so in the previous classes first before we go to rational numbers let us recall the number system first in junior classes we have studied about natural numbers what are natural numbers they are just the counting number they are denoted by n is equal to they are 1 2 3 etc it goes on and on the smallest natural number is 1 then along with the natural numbers if 0 is included then the number system is called whole numbers and they are denoted by the letter w which is 0 1 2 3 etc now next we studied about integers for every positive numbers for all the whole numbers on the right hand side of 0 we have included the negative numbers that is 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 on the right hand side and minus 1 minus 2 on the left hand side that is for all these whole numbers we have their negatives on the left hand side this set of numbers together called integers which is denoted by the letter z now again we have to then this is the next extension of a, a number system is only rational numbers we are going to study about it now, for example, you take the number line of integers, just the number line of the integers. See, children, just to differentiate, I put 0, 1, 2, I mark them a little longer, okay. So, this 0 is in the middle and plus 1, plus 2 on the right hand side and minus 1, minus 2 on the left hand side. Now, okay, now these are all integers, they are whole numbers on the right hand side, we can say. This is one full chalk piece, this is full two chalk pieces, they are whole numbers. Now, how do you call this chalk pieces? Can we call this a one chalk piece? No, it is a part of, it's a broken piece, it's a piece of chalk, it's a part of this. So how do we denote a part of a thing mathematically? That is where we introduce fractions. Even about this we have studied in junior classes. That is how we get a fraction. This is a fraction of a chalk piece, it's not a whole chalk piece. So these fractions come between two whole numbers. Fractions appear between two whole numbers. If this is a small piece, so it lies between 0 and 1. If you have 1 and a piece... This is more than 1, but it is not 2. So, this will lie between 1 and 2. So, like this, the fractions lie between two whole numbers. So, so between 0 and 1, to understand easily, I have taken very familiar numbers. 1 by 4 is quarter, 1 by 2 half and 3 by 4 is 3 fourth. These are fractions. We have numerator and denominator, which we have studied in the junior classes. Now, what we are going to do for every, as we had every positive number, we had negative number. Now, every positive fraction, we have their negatives on the left hand side for plus 1 by 4, minus 1 by 4. For plus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2. Plus 3 by 4, minus 3 by 4. Same way, after 1, if you have 1 and a quarter, plus 1 and a quarter, here minus 1 and a quarter. So, for every positive fraction on the right hand side, we have their negatives. We can have their negatives on the left hand side. This positive fractions and their negative together is called the new number system. We name it that is the rational numbers and it is denoted by the letter Q. Capital Q is equal to this is of the form P by Q. That is like this. It's, it's in the form of fraction. No. So P is the numerator. Q is the denominator. So it is of the form P by Q. And two important things we have to remember here. In this Q, the denominator is not equal to, we read it, not equal to zero. That is because division by 0 is not possible. We can divide a, a number a 0 by a number. When you divide a 0 by a number, answer is 0. But a number divided by 0 is not possible. That is why the denominator cannot be negative. So Q is not, I'm sorry, 0. Q is not equal to 0. And P and Q are integers. Integers means they can be positive or negative. It can be positive. This is the only the difference between rational number and a fraction. In fraction, both numerator and denominator are only, will be only positive. But in rational number, P and Q are integers, which means they can be positive or negative. Now, we will see the standard form of a rational number. So, we know rational number is of the form capital Q equal to P by Q. So, in this, two conditions must be satisfied. Then only we can proceed with the uh, whatever calculations we need to do in the uh, rational numbers. That is, first, first condition is, P and Q must be in lowest terms. This numerator and denominator, they have to be in their lowest terms. What do you mean by lowest terms, children? That means their common factor should be 1. We will see examples, you will understand better. Example 1, 5 by 6. It is in lowest terms. I have written a short form because of uh, short of place. So, LT, lowest terms. It is, it is in lowest terms. Why? Because 5 and 6, they don't have a common factor. That is, they cannot be cancelled further. So, their common factor is only 1. So, they are in lowest terms. You see example 2, 6 by 8, it is not in lowest term. 
Why? Because 6 and 8 have a common factor 2. Both can be cancelled by 2. So if we cancel by 2, we get 2 3s are 6 and 2 4s are 8. So we get 3 by 4. Now 3 by 4 is in lowest terms. So now lowest terms means then common factor of numerator and denominator has to be 1. This is step 1 for condition 1. And condition 2, Q must be always positive. This Q, this denominator needs to be in positive always. Or then you see example you understand better otherwise it will be difficult for us to do the calculations if it is negative so for example you take 5 by minus 7 if this is not in standard form then how to bring it into standard form without changing its value we bring this negative sign from the denominator and we put it in the numerator because we have studied in integers whether you divide minus divided by plus is also minus and plus divided by minus is also minus whether you divide two different signs the division of two different signs the answer is always negative so whether you put the negatives in the denominator or you shift it to the numerator it doesn't change the value of the given question so to bring it into a standard form bring the denominator negative sign to the numerator so it is in standard form now because the denominator has to be positive always see another example minus 3 by minus 8 both are negative then it is not in standard form we don't mind having the numerator negative but the denominator there should not be in minus sign so you bring this to the numerator what happens already we have one minus and this minus comes there so minus into minus becomes plus otherwise or simply you have to understand minus divided by minus minus when you divide the two same signs it is positive so i just cut cancel both the negative signs so it becomes 3 by 8 and that is in standard form so this is how we bring if the numbers are not given in standard form you bring it to standard form then only we proceed with the sums okay children so i hope you have understood the basic concepts about the rational numbers so with all these basic concepts i think children Maths is always a joy. You just need to enjoy. Thank you.